My band, Relaxer, did a tour with Boris and Crip City and Lisa Belladonna in Japan. And I believe the idea for the actual artist pedal, like the Wada uh, pedal, came, came on that tour, but I do recall working on a pedal for her right before I left, and I remember giving it to her at the, at the first show. I don't exactly remember what it was, but I think I may have just brought it to her. I think it was Big Muff related. But I know, I remember specifically talking about the start of the Hizumitas on a day off. It was the last day we were in Japan and we were all staying in Kyoto. And we talked about doing it. Uh, and I started on it pretty much right when I got back. もう まずWell, the goal of the Hizumitas was to make an, an exact, like, sonic clone of her particular Big Muff. It has reverse polarity, the original one does, and that's probably the only real change that I made um, with the Hizumitas is its negative ground, like modern pedals, so it could just run on a regular power supply, which means I had to change the transistors in it, so it's not the original transistors, but... Um, there's a few value tweaks in it to get it to sound like Wada's, but it's pretty, it's pretty close to exact circuit-wise. My understanding of it is, is she, she really liked her particular sustainer and wanted something that would replicate it in a smaller format. I mean, hers, hers is old and it is, it's taped together, um, so it's pretty fragile, but she's had it on her board for a long time. ジェイミー自身がミュージシャンなのでもうすごく現場のことをよくわかってると思います。彼がミュージシャンとして音楽やバンドを愛してるし、ツアーを楽しめる人だからこそ。so the design process for it was pretty easy, but it was very long, much longer than uh, I anticipated for a fuzz pedal. And the reason why is because I own the exact same pedal that Wada owns. Uh, I had her send me photos of the inside and outside detailed photos, and it was exact to mine. So I was building this clone based on mine, and you know, I built one that I thought sounded exactly like mine, and I sent it to her, and she sent me back a list of notes. Um, I made those changes, and eventually I got up to seven revisions in it, to, like over the course of a year, sending them back and forth before I finally asked her to send me her pedal, because it was starting to sound so different than mine that I assumed it must be wildly different. So I got hers. Um, and I kept it for a week, and it sounded totally different than my pedal. And it looked exactly the same, so I actually took mine apart and measured each piece just to see what the tolerances were, and everything had drifted like pretty wildly. I did not take hers apart because I thought that might be a bad idea, maybe rude. Uh, <laughs> so once I got hers, it went real quick. 
I uh, made a new one based on that, sent it to her. She approved it with very minor changes. So I did those and then it was finally approved. So the final version of it, you know, really took like two weeks, I think, in the development, but that was at the end of a year. Um, and, you know, obviously it was much different than working on a typical earthquake or pedal because I'm usually just worried about do I like the way it sounds and, you know, I don't need to really communicate back and forth with, with anybody. And we also you know, would have to use a translator to do it. So the process was, was, took a little bit longer than usual, but it was easy. It was, it was definitely fun. She's, she's great to work with. すごくゴリゴリな音が出る。そのギャップも素晴らしいと思ってます。I think what I'm most proud of is just kind of being part of Boris's history. They've been around for a super long time, and they're a really interesting band that I've liked for, I don't know, forever, I think, as long as I can remember. And I mean, Wada is a really unique musician. It's, it's cool to be involved in her sound. Thank you.